how you doing guys this time I'm trying to balance a very heavy camera setup with uh, another gimbal as in my previous video I tried uh, balancing this lens with uh, crane 2 so some of you guys asking if this uh, package or if this uh, combo is uh, still working on drone and S so that's why I thought to make uh, a video and show you guys how to balance uh, Sony FE28 to 135mm Cine lens it's a quite big lens and very heavy lens here's the Ronin S so what we have to do is first I'm trying to remove the mad box I always use uh, a quick release plate on Ronin S uh, camera plate like this so this is it's it's good because once when I balance my camera when I, I don't want to use it on a gimbal I remove it from the gimbal so I and put it back so I don't need to rebalance it so this is a good tip to use it on with your gimbal and yeah obviously since this setup will be a front heavy so you have to put you have to put your camera all the way back so this is the back of the plate and this is the front of the plate and there's a mark an arrow so this is uh, um, this part is for the front of the gimbal so let's try it and I already put the quick release base plate on the bottom of my camera yeah the only point is that it should go all the way to the back of the gimbal or I mean uh, to the back of the base plate because we don't have enough room because the should we are trying to take the plate all the way back because the setup will be front heavy so let's start it so first we have to lock this put our camera and now we have to uh, we have to balance all three axes tilt roll and pan first of all what we have to do we have to uh, balance the tilt axis in order to balance the tilt axis we have to see which way the camera is heavy so the camera is front heavy we have to lose the snob if your camera is more heavy front heavy we have to remove the eye cap I'm removing the eye cap so it can give us some room so right now it's touching the um, roll motor I move the eye cap and we have enough space so still front heavy so I'm losing the knob and going a little back so I just keep holding it and see how much space we have so we have enough space so now I'm tightening it and we can see that still front heavy so we have still a little space if you can see here we have uh, still we have some space so keep your camera like this and try to go back see if the camera is touching the roll motor or not yeah looks like it's okay now what you have to do so now rotate your camera whether this way or this way it doesn't matter so, so there's a knob this knob we have to lose it if the camera is right now this is perfect if if, if, if your camera is uh, falling like uh, this way it means it's bottom heavy if it's uh, the easy way is to recognize if if it's going the camera is going this way so it's bottom heavy you have to push this back until it stay in its place yeah this is perfect now 
Now we can see that it, it needs a little more minor adjustment. So now it's back heavy. So you have to move the camera a little forward. Okay, that's perfect. Now it's time to see the roll motor. Now we have to balance the roll motor. We have to move. We have to open this knob and move and, and slide the slide the camera to see which way it's yeah, until it's stay in the same position so we, this this is perfect now now we can see here the camera is front heavy we have to tune it a little bit. You just need a minor tuning it. Okay, it's now front heavy. Yeah, that's perfect now. And the last step is we have to keep our gimbal like this and move it. In order to check the pan motor, the easy way is to keep your camera like this. To keep camera like this. And this motor should stay here. If it's going down, it means we should move it a little bit. So, I move it too much. Now this is perfect. Okay, once we check that everything is perfect, we have to turn on the battery and then turn on the gimbal. So the gimbal is perfectly balanced. So the final step is to fine tune the motors. In order to fine tune the motors, you have to press the front trigger with M button which is at the back of the uh, gimbal. So press both together. Yeah. Now it starts auto tuning it. So the um, LED lights are blinking and you should not touch um, the gimbal while it's auto tuning the motors in order to give you the best performance. Okay, now when, once the blinking stop, I don't know if you guys can see here, so you're ready to go. The gimbal is completely balanced with a little problem. If you guys think that it's helpful for you guys, so do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any question, please um, write your comments below. I will try to answer your questions.